religious freedom is important for everyone. People who are atheists, people who are agnostic, people who are not affiliated with any particular religious tradition. Because religious freedom isn't just the freedom to live a faith, it's the freedom to have a space where you can make choices about things that are most important to you. Religious freedom is creating an environment that allows that individual quest of understanding one's purpose in life. It also sets the tone for how we govern ourselves, how we continue to make space for people with varying belief systems or no belief systems at all to live and thrive in a country that was created for opportunity. No one religious perspective has a grip on the government so that it can force its perspective on others means we ideally should have equal footing under the law. Many of our modern notions of pluralism, sort of this liberal democracy, come from a long tradition in America of religious freedom, of religions living and working together. Our understanding of religious freedom continues to evolve, and that's why it's important for us to learn about our past, to see what lessons there are, and also to learn from the mistakes that we may have made. It's crucial that we know our own history and we know our own story. Religion has been such a part of American culture, American history, American identity. The freedom of religion, the idea that you can believe whatever you want, that is deeply ingrained in the American character. Founded on this premise that people of different religions could work together and they could live peaceably together. While religious freedom is not uniquely American, our interpretation of it has been. America was coming out of a history that had been going on for a couple hundred years of wars over religion and identity. In the old world, meaning in Europe, one's religious consciousness was essential to that national identity. It was inconceivable that you could have a nation without a religious identification. What's unique about America, when the country was formed, it wasn't just one majority church. Each region had their own religious traditions. They sought to create a society in which not only they would be able to practice their religion freely, but others who may not share the same beliefs as them could as well. There were also Americans who didn't necessarily buy into this vision. Religious freedom is not guaranteed for black folks. Um, it has never been, and so it's a continuous struggle and a continuous fight. Every Sunday that I walk into the church, every time someone walks into the temple, every time somebody goes to the mosque, they are doing a defiant thing to the dominant culture. And we continue to struggle with understanding what religious freedom is supposed to mean to us and where religious freedom needs to end when it might entail taking away other people's rights or freedoms. And that's the constant struggle that we continue to see today. The place of religion in American society is fascinating, it's interesting, it's central. The history of religious freedom is inspirational. It makes America a place where any idea can flower. An important component to religious freedom is religious literacy, and that is at least having a basic understanding of where our friends and neighbors might be coming from. The purpose of the museum is to help educate America about its history of religion and religious freedom, to take a complicated and interesting history and bring it to people who are curious, want to know more. Where we can have our history at our disposal and interesting questions and experts who are able to guide us in having fruitful conversations, meaningful conversations about a very important topic that oftentimes gets overlooked in our national discourse, even though it fundamentally informs so many of the greatest challenges that we face today.